वेलकम टू द ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन गैटलिंग फ्रॉम सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग हेल्प एज पार्ट ऑफ द एजेंडा वी विल कवर हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल द स्टैंड लोन वर्जन ऑफ गैटलिंग विल अंडरस्टैंड एंड गेट फैमिलियर विद गैटलिंग रिकॉर्डर हाउ यू कैन ओपन द रिकॉर्डर एंड वॉट आर द वेरियस कॉन्फिग्रेशन अवेलेबल इन द रिकॉर्डर एंड फाइनली वी कैन सी हाउ विल सेट अप द ब्राउजर और ओ एस प्रॉक्सी इन ऑर्डर टू यूज और सेंड ट्रैफिक टू गैटलिंग रिकॉर्डर टू गेट स्टार्टेड विद अर Gatling scripts. So, in order to install Gatling standalone version, you need to go to Gatling I/O website. Now, there are two versions listed for Gatling. One is open source and enterprise. So, for this video series and for all practical purposes, open source version is sufficient. Enterprise version has more features like running tests on cloud, etc. But again, all those things come with a price tag. So. if you want to do a on premise kind of setup and if you want to use it like on your servers you can simply use the open source version once you are on this page you can simply click download now and say click here in order to start the download you can see the zip folder installation has already started I have already kept it downloaded so if you go to downloads folder it will show me the downloaded file i can simply go to finder and see it's already downloaded it's named as gatling charts i charts bundle dot zip to get started we first need to unzip this folder now once this unzip let's see what what inside this folder so there are a couple of files like license then there are some folder structure like bin conf lib results and user file the most important one is bin where all the scripts are available now we can see here there are four scripts two batch and two shell scripts these versions of uh, different versions of scripts are there in order to support different operating systems so for linux or mac based oss you can use the shell files and for windows based oss you can use the batch files to initiate or start the recorder you just need to use the recorder shell file and gatling shell file is used to run the recorded simulation scripts so the scripts that you will record with the recorder interface will or could be run using the gatling shell script itself so let's see how you can run the recorder before that first understand how does the recorder looks like and what are the important configurations available there so first one is the port number itself by default is 8000 but you can change it to your convenience this is the port where the gatling recorder or gatling proxy will listen the web traffic to another section is simulation information which is the final simulation script that gets created you can specify its package and class name and the final scripts that get created are nothing but scala script or scala class files so whatever package and class name you specify here the resulting script will follow this convention another important point is output or simulations folder this is the location where the simulation scripts will get created by default is a user file simulation uh, folder in the install location itself and this could be changed per your convenience and another important point is the blacklist filters and uh, these are nothing but to ignore static resources like javascript or style sheets or other images files because we would not like to capture those as part of the simulation script again that will depend on the actual scenario that you want to execute but it's generally recommended to blacklist all the static resources so let's try how you can run the recorder since it's a shell file you can simply say dot slash recorder dot shell and it 
opens the recorder interface so this is how it looks like as we discussed that this is the HTTPS port depending on like if you have some web application already running on port 8000 you can configure it say port 9000 package information by default package is blank we can enter as per our convenience like com.learn.gatling class name again depending on your choice or your project needs output let it be default now blacklist as you can see currently it is empty but gatling does provide a templated blacklist uh, resources list if you say no static resources here it will automatically add a default pre-built template which excludes like javascripts or cascading style sheets or images etc you can add more here by clicking plus or minus and add something like dot star hash if you know that there are say some asmx files coming i mean whatever whatever is for your needs you can add and remove more here in order to start the recorder you can simply say start and it opens the recorder interface and this is where all the web traffic or all the scenario execution web request will come here and once this recording is complete you can click stop and save that will essentially take all the executed events and create a simulation script out of it so first let's see what kind of application will use to create the scenario so there is a gatling hosted application called computer database dot gatling dot io it's nothing but a simple crud based application database application it has a listing of a few computers you can search for a computer suppose apple let's see if it's there it says there so you can search for a computer you can add a new computer like fill in some information or you can see details for a computer and delete so these are some of the features this applications have and we can basically use this for all our testing needs so since we have already recorded started let's see if there is some traffic coming in here but we can see that there is no traffic and this is because the browser proxy is currently not configured to send proxy to or send traffic to the gatling proxy in order to do that for mac you can simply go to system preferences go to network wi-fi advanced proxies in http and https select both of them and write the port number as 9000 so whatever port is configured here there in gatling recorder you can specify here click ok and apply um, now let's do some more actions on this page like navigating to website clicking on a computer saying delete this computer and let's see the recorder interface and we can see that there are a couple of requests that got captured here in order to see details about these requests you can go to any particular request and it gives a lot of information like headers what was the content type what were the response headers and the actual response itself so these are more details about the requests that were captured by this recorder in order to clear all this uh, request you cannot individually create any particular request but if you say clear it will essentially clear all the captured events like simply let's do some more dummy operations and we can see that they got recorded again so once this once you are done with executing the script simply click stop and save 
and doing that will capture all the executed events here and create a simulation script out of it. So we'll cover that section more detailed in next video. Thank you.